Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and you're watching some more NHL 17 Hockey Ultimate Team for the next gen consoles and we've got a pack opening video for you today. We've got some gold plus packs and we have a festive pack. So uh, hopefully a handful of gold rare players to uncover in these packs. The gold plus packs have uh, six or seven players I think and uh, at least two rare players and the festive pack it says that it has three gold rare players. However, um, when I bought it, it actually said that it was four gold rare players. So I think we might have three, three or four gold rare players. So, you know, we're going to get about nine or ten rare players here. And I'm hoping for something good. And we start off with a healing card. Something good that isn't Austin Matthews. Because in my last three pack opening videos, I think, I've pulled an Austin Matthews. No disrespect to him, he's a great player. Uh, and he's really quite a nice card in Hockey Ultimate Team this year. Nazim Kadri, there we go, there's our first rare player, that's not bad. If you were starting out, Nazim Kadri is a decent playmaking centre for you to uh, look out for. And who else have we got? Tyler Toffoli, again, another decent enough all-round player. He's certainly got a good shot. And I like that Team Europe jersey. The Team Europe jerseys home and away are really nice. And then we finish off with Patrick Eves. Not bad. Getting things off pretty decently. I can take uh, Kadri and Toffoli. So let's get rid of the healing cards and send everything else to my collection. So we're going to go for, I think the festive pack last. So we're going to carry on opening up these gold plus packs. What are we going to get? Fingers crossed. Come on, give me some 87... Uh, overall players, or, or greater than 87. Jason Demers, hmm. Healing cards and contracts. Chris Thorburn, wow, Chris Thorburn looks evil. <laughs> Some of these player photos are quite funny. James Reimer is our first rare player, so we've got one more rare player to come. Vertanen is not it. Ah, Tyler Johnson, again, good, decent uh, offensive player. Good hands, good playmaking ability, and I like that. Detroit Red Wings jersey as well. We've got a couple of nice jerseys so far in these pack openings. And we finish with a healing card, which we're going to quick sell straight away. Healing cards are about the... I mean, I know players do get injured a little bit more this year, but still, I, I pick up so many in these rare packs that I've, I've never needed for either a healing card or a contract card, to be honest, so far this year. I've got so many contracts cards. I should probably try and sell them on the market. I don't know how much a contract card goes for these days. Never, ever even searched for them. There you go, Andrew Ladd. He's our next rare player. A little bit on the slow side, but he's a big body. He can uh, bang some people about. And we're just waiting for our next rare player. Who's it going to be? TJ Brennan. We're going to be the last card. Oh, and it's Boone Jenner. Again, not really so much of an uh, offensive player. He's not bad defensively, and he, as he's again, he's a big body. So if you like uh, a bit of smash mouth hockey, you know, dumping the puck in, going on the forecheck, hammering opposition defensemen, then Boone Jenner's actually a pretty decent player. And his offensive stats are not horrendous. So here we go. Here's our last gold plus pack. Fingers crossed we get something lucky. Come on, give me an 87 overall player. God, the ugliest jersey of all time, that Arizona Coyotes jersey. Some people like it. I think it is goddamn awful. Derek Englund signed a massive contract in Calgary for I don't know why. Brendan Gallagher, there, there's our first rare player. Again, uh, an 86 overall player that is semi-decent overall. And Craig Smith, the very epitome of average across the boards. Look at these stats. Around about 85, 86 for everything. Actually, he's not got bad speed. 87 speed, agility, and acceleration. Suggests that he's a pretty good skater. But otherwise, he's just very, very average in this game. And to be honest, Brendan Gallagher is, is very, very similar. Pretty decent stats across the board. Doesn't really have any inherent weakness, but doesn't really have a strength either. So, you know, maybe someone that you stick on your third or your fourth line if you're new to the game. But generally speaking, if you've been playing Hut for 
a while, you should have a team where, you know, players like Smith and Brendan Gallagher are kind of expendable. So we haven't got any rare players yet. So here we go, rare players. Oh, Nick Cromwell, Paul Martin, Adam Larson. Are they going to give us four in a row? Yes, they are. They're going to give us four rare players in a row. Joe Ward. My God. Four rare players and three of them are 85 overalls. Now that is what I call it a bit of a disappointment. I don't mind Cronwall. Cronwall is a decent D-man. But the rest? Wow. Did you get anything good in these festive packs? That's what I want to know. It looks like it's main, It's all players. Four rare. Please tell me someone got something decent in these festive packs because I certainly haven't. But thank you ever so much for watching. I've been the Beanie 101. If you want to see some more Ultimate Team content, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps me out an awful lot. And I'll catch you again in the next video.